All right, I got time for one more. The sun's going down fast. Boats are ripping in and out, but uh, it's not a bad setup, and it seems like the audio is working. So I'm going to try to uh, going to get another one out here from a man in Elkins, West Virginia. You know what? I've been there. I've been to Elkins, West Virginia. All right, now listen to this. All right, guys. Hey, Steve. I'm from Elkins, West Virginia, and I want to share a story. I've been an avid outdoors my whole life, and I grew up on a farm, and I've seen a lot of game and heard a lot of weird sounds in the woods. October in the fall of 2017, me and my wife went camping in the lower ridges of Cheap Mountain, about 12 miles northeast of town. We set up our camp, and we're there for about a week, with not a problem in the world. One morning, we got up and gathered the two dogs, a full-blooded black lab, and a red-nosed pit bull, and left for town for supplies. We made sure the fire was out and all the lights were off, tents, zipped up, everything nice, neat and clean. We returned about 9.30 that night. As we rounded the corner, we noticed there was a fire lit in the makeshift stove I made and both our gas lanterns were burning and the place was lit up. Everything was on and both tents open. We were scared I had a 40 mi We were scared. I had a 44 Magnum on my hip, so I grabbed my mag light, my pistol, and led the way in, announcing we were there. No one answered back. I usually go with my gut and would have ran like hell right there. But my wife, being naive, wanted to stay. So I put my macho face, so I put on my macho face and bit the bullet for now. All night I sat there awake at the fire, wide awake and still scared, scared to even turn the flashlight on to see. At about 2 a.m. I started to hear something whistling, like somebody was whistling. So I whistled back, not thinking like a dumbass. It kept whistling and it got closer and closer, first first from, I'm guessing, about 100 yards, then 50 yards, then 30 yards, and right down to just out of the light of my campfire, but never came any closer so I could see it was making that whistling noise. So I hollered into my wife and got her awake. At this point, I'm shaking scared. I'm 301 pounds, six foot two. I'm a big guy, I can hold my own, but I was scared. My wife got up and I showed her what was happening. In a whispered voice, as we sat there, it kept whistling. I had only enough call signal to text and message my brother to come and get us. He wasn't coming and we were alone. I told my wife to be quiet and get the dogs, but to both our surprise, they were gone. And me and my wife stood up and started actually talking at it. Never made any other sound than just whistling. We were walking backwards towards my truck, talking the whole time. Once we made it to the front of the truck, it came into the campfire light. Following us backwards, I gave my keys to my wife to get in, start the truck, fling my door open so we could get out there once the truck started. All hell broke all hell broke loose. It screamed so hard and loud it shook the ground under my feet from 20 yards away. I felt the shock in my chest after it yelled. I ripped around in it, sounded like a rock hitting a tub of water. It just got pissed and made for us. I threw myself in the truck, slammed it in second and burned out of there. It managed to it, it managed to knock my dual 2500 ram sideways and I rode the ditch all the way back to town. We were so scared, we went to Walmart under the parking lights and stayed awake till morning. We never went back to that part of the woods again, never been camping since then. Our dogs and all our gear were never seen again. My brother came to check on us the next day and everything was gone like we were never there. No one here at home believes me. They think I'm crazy and out of my mind. I know what I saw, and I know what I heard, and what I put around in. My name is Anthony Currents. You can use my name if you want to. Thank you for reading this long story. How's that for a nightmare? And thanks, Anthony. Uh, thanks for sending in your story, and thank you for using your your own name and uh, being brave. And uh, you know, not every encounter is a freaking fair is a uh, freaking fairy tale when it comes to these things. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are leaving gifts and trying to make contact with these things. And uh, a lot of the people who I know who have many years of experience with these beings all over North America, not just two or three of the same ones in their backyard, um, they really, really stress to not attempt to go and make contact with these things. And uh, obviously there is a lot of unknown going on with these things. And uh, myself, I mean, I don't go looking for these things intentionally. I don't, I don't have any craving or need to make contact with them. And, um, obviously, that's up to uh, to you. 
Um, soon we'll be able to share us all the information we have about these things and we can make, um, we can help you make good responsible decisions when it comes to these damn things. And, uh, but our main goal is to get everybody informed honestly of the facts, um, share everything we know with everyone and to support the people who are having, um, who are experiencing very bad aftermath after, after having these experiences because it really sucks and, um, and it's just time that we took the people who are lying to us and uh, we have to get stronger and more powerful than them and um, and help people. That's what we have to do. So, you know, like I said, like everybody knows in the past, I've never ever said like, share, copy, or whatever, any of our subscribe to uh, any of my social media, and I still won't. But I'll tell you what, I feel a large army of solid, good, honest, hardworking people building up behind me and, and my circle of friends. And I can feel it building up and it's pretty damn cool. And, uh, and we're gonna get stronger and louder and we're all gonna win. And the truth's gonna come out, so. Thanks again, Anthony, good luck to you guys. Thanks for sending your email. And uh, we're all here for you. And there's literally thousands of us, all right? So never be scared and don't be ashamed and make sure you all share and talk talk openly about this topic. And it needs to, it needs to be done. All right, I'll talk to you guys later on.